Hi everyone and welcome back. So in the last video we have created a user resolver. Now what we are going to do is we will copy this into the post and into the comments because there will be only slight changes we have to do and we can manage them. So the post, post resolver. Here instead of this user query there will be a post and posts and we are going to get models dot post right post dot find one this is fine post dot find get all right and populate the the author and the comments for it so if we go to the query post here the post is returning type post and post will have comments author and date okay comment and author comments and author so go to the post resolver here we have post and here we have author instead of that view dot user that is author so here we have a title body and published these are some of the boolean flag okay title so this is how we are getting both the queries a single post by ID and list of all the post from the post collection. Now, if you wanted to save it, save the new post. So I think this is going to be a bulk change we can do. Wherever there is a user, just convert that into a post. Let's see if it works. Create user update user. This can work. And wherever there is a small user, add a post. okay this is good now create post right uh, here we have few other things title body and we have title body published and some other arguments like author so the post resolver will be little different while we are doing a create so author is also there which will be post dot author and there is a date post dot date okay title body let's quickly update all these things published this is published and then we have author okay now i can do new post dot save this is this will create post and this is update post i think we didn't update the names update post and this is delete post because if your names are not matching while running this you will encounter a lot of errors right models dot post find by id and update we are getting post the model dot post dot find by id and delete these are fine and in the post we have to take care of two things in the post we have comments and we have author so author we can get from so from the parent we are getting author right so what we can say is models dot user dot find by id because author id we are getting so you can just simply pass the author it will give us the author for this that particular post and then post has an author and set of comments right so we can say model.comments.find where author is this which we are passing this author we are getting so based on that we will get the set of comments for that particular post so in post we are resolving author and comments both this is fine delete post update post now we can also talk about subscriptions because in post we have subscriptions also so subscriptions will get added directly here if you see the types in the post we have one subscription which is like subscription upload payload which is have a mutation and post okay going to the resolver here we need to write so first is query query is done mutation is done after that we can add a subscription and this subscription will talk about the post 
and we are going to have a subscribe method this will have the same set of arguments and we we can decide to act on to this and skip it so this is parent arguments and the pub sub pub sub which we need to pass from the context okay and then we can on our return now and you will decide okay so this is our subscription now when should we publish this right because we are going to access this pub sub whenever there is an update post create post we can uh, we can access this pub sub dot publish and we can publish a particular event right so that we can see for now this is done we can copy this and put it in the comments I just copied it. Uh, we can what we can do is just change the post everywhere to comments because this is a simple logic. We can apply all our entities. Posts will be replaced with comments. Simply replacement. This is the replacement of model and this is the replacement of entity data post with the comment okay now we have to check comment okay comments dot this is entity models dot comment dot find one similarly all the set of comments comment dot find give me all the list of comments and the comment will have author and the post so that will be post author is view dot author okay so i mean simply whatever we have done in the user same thing we are doing in the post and then same thing we are doing in comment so we have author and we have post and we have only text as a property i think so we can just do text uh, you dot text cool so sim simply we will write all the resolvers now all the resolvers are defined in the, the last video now we can just have a simple demo because here we are importing all the combining all the resolvers combining all the type definitions going to the index.js here we have imported the type definitions and resolver we will create the schema by calling make executable schema because we haven't written a schema together it's like split it and we combine them so to make it executable we have to call this method from graphql tools schema and then pass the schema here with the context context will have a pub sub because we are using it somewhere and const pub sub will be an object of this new pub sub that's it uh, we are passing this in the context models and pub sub and in the next video let's have a simple demo for this and then we are done with this thanks everyone